this short video where we are going to learn how to use monitoring applications connected to BASICS middleware. This video introduces three examples based on open source third party applications. The goal of these applications is to show monitoring data in real time coming from a digital twin instantiated in BASICS. All of these three tools are web-based and they run in the browser. First, I would like to give you a quick overview about each of them and later we will learn how we can run these applications in the context of specific BASICS examples. Grafana offers many possibilities in terms of dashboards, which can be customized using different types of charts. You can, for example, visualize alerts based in some computed metrics or based in some log data coming from physical devices or machines. You can query data from different data sources over HTTP requests. Streamsheets also offers the possibility to create charts or visual graphics for data analytics. You also have the freedom to create graphical representations on your own. For example, real-time data can be, dis can be displayed on top of representations of a machine. To realize the communication, protocols such as MQTT, Apache Kafka, REST-based APIs can be used. Node-RED offers the possibility for data flow controlling, which means you can use this tool for data processing, data transformation, and also data propagation. In Node-RED, you can wire nodes and links and deploy it locally, in the cloud or in a Raspberry Pi. It's a technology built on Node.js, so it gives flexibility to connect with other applications, as, for example, via APIs. Additionally, you can also connect to a broker via protocol MQTT. How we can run the examples in the context of BASICS. So the two necessary requirements that we have to run these examples is to have a Docker installation and to clone the BASICS project where we can find the examples. And as long as you have cloned the repository, you should see something like this in your local machine. Then you go in the examples, folder and here you will find BASICS Grafana, BASICS Node-RED and BASICS Streamsheets. Now I will showcase how to run Grafana and BASICS. And for that we need to enter in the folder basics.grafana and then we follow the steps of the readme file. For example, in Grafana, it is necessary to download a specific plugin, as we can see here. As long as you have installed the plugin, according to the following steps, you can then run the Grafana application. For that, you can simply double-click in this file, in BAT or in the SH. And then you should see something like this. Especially what you have to take a look is that here you have no errors at the beginning. And you can also double check in your dashboard in Docker. And here you should see all the applications running. So the registry and wrapper are the 
two different components which connect to BASICs so that we can retrieve the data from an AAS, an Asset Administration Shell. Now, to visualize our application, we can go in the browser. So we are going to log in here, and then we can visualize our graphics. In this example of Grafana, we are collecting the temperature of a machine, as we can see here, and the temperature is changing over the time. So in this example here, we can see two different representations, but you can create your own panels. So we have plenty of different options here to add new panels, for example, and here you have possibilities to customize first the visualization, so the style that you want to see, uh, the information that you want to display, the position, the colors, in this case, uh, the minimal temperature, the average temperature, the max, the current, so you can uh, choose within all these options. You can also choose, for example, here, if you want to see over the last, for example, in this case, in the 10 seconds or in the last five minutes, so you can define the time ranges of this representation. So now we want to run the Stream Sheets application. So we go again to the main folder here in the BASICS structure, the Examples folder. Then we go to BASICS Stream Sheets. And then we have the README text file with the guidance. So what we have to do is essentially start the container using the command docker compose up or to make your life easier you can double click in the start here start as h or start.bat both of them will essentially run this com this command and then we can open in the browser in this default address using the port 8081 and then we need to import the json file which we have our configurations our uh, setup for this example and then you can navigate in the application. So let's start. In this case, it will open a window. This is essentially a shell script. As we can see, apparently everything is running and hopefully everything is successfully running. So we can cross check in our Docker, in our dashboard here. So we can see very good, Streamsheets is running and we have the three auxiliary components which connect to the AAS to then retrieve the data. So we can then open our browser. which should then be in the port 8021. There we go. We have to log in. The credentials are also in the text file. So we log in. And then we can see that in the first dashboard, we have our AAS property here. So we click on this one. Ah, very important. In my case here, I have so far imported the file. Probably if you, it's your first time, what you have to do is click on here on the hamburger menu. And then you click in import and then you can select in the examples. So you have to locate where your, your basics folder, uh, your workspace is. In my case, I go here just to quickly show. And then we go back in the same folder, basis, stream sheets. And here we have the dashboard file. So you essentially can import this. In my case, it's not needed because I have this, have done this step. So I will start then my panel and there we go. Here we can see then the live data showing the temperature every one second in this case. In this example is what we have configured. So as you can see, every second the temperature, which is the 
the value which has been retrieved from our AAS instantiation is here. And now we want to run the Node-RED applications where we can essentially create nodes, assemble nodes, and deploy the nodes and the data which we are collecting and transforming through these nodes. So we are still in the folder examples. Here we have basics.node-red. Again, we have the readme with the guidance. Uh, if you have some errors uh, in the flow where the, no the MQTT nodes are not connecting, here there is some hint of what you can do. By changing some few configurations, then you have the connect that you should have the connectivity uh, running. So let's start our application. Again, I am starting here the shell script. Apparently, everything is running. We can see everything is running in our Docker dashboard. So we can start the application in the browser. And for that, we run in the default port, which is 1880. And then if everything is okay, you should be able to see this flow. Essentially what we have, we have the start node. So we have to press here to start the process of collecting the data. Here we have a node which then reads the temperature also each and every one second. And then we have some operations here to transform this data. For example, in this node, we are calculating the average temperature and the results we publish in a MQT, MQTT server. In the other node, we are computing the Fahrenheit because by default, we are receiving the temperature values as Celsius. And then we do this transformation and we publish to another MQTT server. And at the end, we get the, in this node, we get the most recent values and we publish in a data source. And here we have another example where we are consuming the data coming from an MQTT server. And then we publish this in this node message. And then if we click here on this bug, we can see the results on the console. So the temperature which is being collected from this MQTT server.